escape. I mean, one gets the sense that most kings would like to be vampires because they're so obsessed with death and never dying. Um, I actually read a theory once which impressed me a great deal, which said that uh, Dracula and the vampire story in general is really uh, about the failure of the French Revolution. And you know, this sounds completely stupid when, when you say it, but it actually makes a certain kind of sense. The idea is that, well, you know, the French Revolution was supposed to have killed off all those blood-sucking aristocrats who live in castles, uh, but, and instead to substitute a domain of liberty, equality, fraternity, and enlightened commercial self-interest. But for some reason, the Count refuses to stay dead. You know, we killed him and he keeps coming back. And, and why does he keep coming back? Well, obviously because we want him for some reason. I mean, why else would we keep going to these movies, right? Um, the very fact that we're watching this shows that there is something in us which is fascinated by the idea of a blood-sucking aristocrat, right? Uh, that, that we desire him, we desire to see him, we desire to know more about it. And um, thus, you can say that the secret dynamic of capitalism is this revealed is you know in, in in the idea of the vampire because vampires right they are um, they, have, they they express an infinite desire uh, if you think about it vampires kill their victims their victims turn into vampires and um, if that were really the case I mean every vampire universe has to fix this problem right because if everybody like, turns into a vampire then everybody's going to be vampires in no time vampires will increase geometrically uh, so you have this potential for you know this infinite absolute growth which will destroy the, the society it feeds off of right away um, and you have a vampire who's totally calculating and rational but driven by a desire which is both completely unlimited and unreasonable and expansive um, and also for that very reason can't be totally fulfilled so there's this like insane profit motive draw a uh, need to expand driving a rational calculating you know corporate um, or, or rational economic actor and that is the sort of contradiction of capitalism and the vampire embodies it in the guise of the aristocrat who was the predecessor which capitalism was supposed to have overthrown but couldn't really do.